What's going on Jello family? In today's video, I'm gonna talk about how I make $250 a month on YouTube. It's about $266 to be exact. So during the past month of April, I made about $266 on YouTube ad revenue um, just through posting on my channel. I kind of have a, a heavy focus on YouTube shorts as well as long form content through YouTube. The channel Angelo Carlos really focuses on on Tesla content. I tried making it more business-like content because of my experience at Google and doing an MBA at UCLA. And I kind of realized um, the algorithm wasn't really favoring it. It just really was kind of optimized towards Tesla content because I have a Tesla Model S refresh, um, previous I had Model Y, Model 3, and then uh, a Model X. So just a lot of Tesla content. And I noticed the algorithm really focused and did well when I had Tesla videos. So I just made it strictly Tesla videos. And I'm just gonna kind of give you my strategy of how I basically went from not getting any views to getting views on my channel, eventually becoming a YouTube partner, having channel monetized. Monetization means that you have a certain amount of subscribers as well as a certain amount of watch time. And YouTube will allow you to put ads in your video and then you can make money through your YouTube videos and your YouTube ads. So let's kind of jump in. So my channel really at first was just a whole bunch of random stuff, right? I like try posting about business, I tried posting about like how to like lose weight, how to you know, take care of your skin, how to like grow longer hair, how to look, how to like uh, make money, all this crazy stuff. I, I really wanted to be business focused, but it wasn't getting any traction. And then one day I just started posting about my Tesla just because I bought them all three at the time, it was about two years ago. And I, really loved the car because it's just so fun to drive so i started posting about it and i started getting a lot of traction that mean that people were actually viewing and watching my videos which was super crazy to me and i was like okay we may have something so i kept posting every day i would post more business content just to see if it would work because i really wanted to get the high ad revenue from business stuff it was not working whatsoever and i posted more tesla stuff I get like a hundred views. Okay, it's kind of weird. So it looks like the algorithm knows that my YouTube audience likes Tesla. So I kept posting more Tesla stuff, more Tesla stuff. And eventually like I got like a 30,000 view video of a, a review of my Tesla Model 3 performance. Um, and I was like, okay, so it looks like Tesla is gonna be the move. So what I ended up doing is I just like took down all the business videos, like all the videos that weren't relative to Tesla. Um, and I focused all my content on that. And here's the strategy that allowed me to get a lot of engagement, a lot of followers and viewers, and eventually allowed the channel to get monetized. So what I did was I would use the YouTube studio uh, app and then just look at the research tab. And the research tab will show you what people are trying to watch and what people are trying to view. And then it will basically show you that, okay, this audience that the your, your your people with watching your youtube channel they like this content they want to see this video so it'd be like tesla model 3 performance review tesla model 3 suspension tesla model s uh review and then what you would do is you try and make content behind that certain thing so if i saw that this topic was trending i would make a video behind that right and then i would like always try and make the video eight minutes long this is really really important so when you make a youtube video youtube now has something called mid-roll ads and mid-roll ads are essentially an ad like in the middle of your video so if there's an ad in the middle of your video you will get more money because youtube can put an ad in the front the middle and the end right so if you have eight minutes of length you will be able to put a mid-roll ad in between the video so if you think of it as like, whenever you record a video, I want you guys to make it eight minutes or longer. That way, whenever you record this video, you will have three sources of revenue. And if people watch the whole thing, YouTube will get paid more, you'll get paid more. The way YouTube ads work is that you have to set up a Google AdSense account and then YouTube will have advertisers come onto your channel and then put ads throughout it. 
YouTube pays you 55% of the total revenue. So if they make $100, they keep 45%, you keep 55%. So basically you get 55 bucks, they get 45 bucks. It's essentially you get kind of a majority of the share because they're actually bringing in all the advertisers to your channel and they bring all the traffic. So it's kind of like a 55-45 split, which is kind of cool, especially if you're very, um, if you kind of want to just make money passively through YouTube, right? The cool thing about this is that you will have videos that will honestly like just generate money more and more money over time and then the more videos you make the more that kind of compounds and stacks up over time because you have videos that were performing well in the earlier of the year and you have another video that performs well today and then another one performs the next day and then it just kind of stacks up over time and just honestly it just kind of compounds which is amazing so that's kind of like how YouTube works with the whole ad ad um, ad sense revenue platform, right? I make about two hundred sixty six dollars these last this past month. The first month uh, wasn't just did okay, like under hundred bucks, but that's because it was just your first month, and I started like in the middle of the month. But last month, my first full month on YouTube, two hundred sixty six dollars, right? So multiply that by like ten months, you might be two thousand six sixty six. And then if you do by twelve, you know, you're just gonna keep going. You will probably make over like. Three hundred, three thousand dollars a year, right? But the thing is, with this, I, I see it growing bigger than that two hundred sixty-six dollars a month because I've only been monetized for one month, and I always consistently post, right? I try and post every day. I know it's crazy, but I'm just so driven right now. I was listening to Kai Sana and how he's just like when you're in this grind, um, work mode, you just are just so inspired, and you just need to keep going, keep posting because it's. It's, it's just like, you feel like you do everything you set your mind to. So that's kind of where I am right now, where I'm in just this grind mode. I really want YouTube to be kind of my full-time full -time career. At Google, I would always go to, um, like especially last summer, I would always go to the YouTube headquarters. And it was so nice that like you would get paid by Google to like, you know, be an employee. But then there was always like something inside of me that was like, I want to be a content creator, right? I would walk around, I'd just see like pictures of Mr. Beast everywhere, double rainbow room on, on the YouTube campus. And I'm like, it's great being a Google employee. However, I, I actually deep down want to be a YouTuber because I can make my own content that can, I can, I love making content. So that's kind of like what really, really inspired me was just that you do anything you set your mind to. And it was so cool whenever creators would come to YouTube and just talk about their journey and their experience and everyone working there, right? They're making good money, like 300,000, 400,000, 500,000, 100,000, 200,000 dollars a year. But a lot of them, like a lot of the, a lot of people at YouTube, working at YouTube, we all want to be content creators. And we all wanted to be able to, you know, have uh, kind of control over your journey where we get paid the ad sets, we can work with sponsors, we can make content that helps the world and makes us happy and excited to get up every day. So that was like one thing I kind of just realized working at, at Google, working and just hanging out at YouTube all the time. Um, I know it's kind of, kind of a little tangent, but yeah, that's, so that's what I did. I would make videos eight minutes or longer, and then I would have the algorithm um, really kind of optimized towards my videos. And the way you do that is by just constantly posting, right? Seeing how your audience responds to it and then figuring out, okay, they really like this content, let's make more of it. For me, I just happened to stumble that being Tesla videos. So I started posting a lot of Tesla videos, right? And then what I do in every video is I would honestly, I would run it through Opus.pro, Pro, right? I'm not sponsored by Opus Pro, but it's like an AI that cuts your videos into um, different segments, right? So I would turn all my long form videos into YouTube shorts, right? So I would have a 30 second YouTube video, or I have a, uh, like say I record a 30 minute YouTube video. I would put it to the AI, have it create a 30 to 60 second YouTube video or like 30 seconds or less. And then that will turn to short and then I would use the function on the AI to post all my videos, right? I would post like 20, 25 shorts a day. And I know you're thinking, oh man, that's so much. Why are you posting so much? In reality, it's like, I saw it as like a lottery. Like there are other creators who probably have different styles, different ways of viewing YouTube. And I'm open to learning that. But my style, my way was that, okay, I'm going to post this 
on YouTube. I'm gonna post like a 25 of these on YouTube and then two or three of them will do well, right? I always saw it kind of as a lottery. And then like maybe one day later on that this YouTube video that did bad that day will do good another day, right? So I always kind of went for like a, uh, a shotgun approach where I just kind of threw stuff at the wall and, and see if it would work. And then the videos that did well, I would um, basically kind of view that again and like, okay, this did really well. Let's recreate this video and do it again, right? So I really looked at the analytics behind everything, especially as I was trying to just kind of figure everything out. Um, and that was a secret, right? You have a long form YouTube video, um, especially what I'm doing right now with, with the channel is that every video, 30, 30 seconds to 60 seconds or 30 seconds or less YouTube short. And then after that, I would post that all on YouTube. Realized that was a great strategy. After I kind of realized that this was a great strategy, I was like, okay, let me scale this some more. So for the longer videos that are like very, very long, like, and 30 minutes to an hour long that I do make, I will turn that into clips, right? The cool thing about Opus.pro is that you have clips. And in these clips, you can like have the AI or the algorithm or the AI Opus.pro turn your video from a 30-minute 30, 30 video to a three-minute to five-minute video. So you'll have like seven clips for that one long form video and you have more content there. So you're getting that one 30-minute video is freaking crazy, guys. That one 30 minute video will turn into like seven long form clips and then like 15 to 20 um, short form clips. And then what you can do again is you can run it through the opens.pro again and then post it again because it would take different clips from the from your video and you have more content, right? And then what I do is like for the shorts, I'll just post all of them, right? And then for the clips, what I'll do is like, I'll create, I'll use the original thumbnail for that long 30 minute video and then just add like new small details to it. So that way it's like, oh, there's the, the people can tell this is a clip. It has like more details to it. And that's been working for me. I grew my channel. Like I think right now we're at 3,600 subs on the Angel Carl channel, which is like strictly Tesla focus. I think it's going to keep growing more and more and more because we're getting like a quarter of a million views every 28 days, which is crazy. That's a form a combination of shorts and long form video. And YouTube, if they see you posting consistently, they will push more traffic to your channel, to your page, because, because they know that you're a consistent poster. They know that, okay, this person, we can trust them. They're gonna keep posting. We'll make more money from this content creator. And then we wanna promote their stuff more. Think of it as like Sam Solik. Sam Solik is probably one of the fastest growing YouTube creators right now. And he did this because he doesn't have much editing, but he'll do really, really long videos. And then he'll consistently post every day. YouTube saw people were reacting really well to his content. So they'll keep like pushing the algorithm towards his content, right? You gotta realize Alphabet, Google, it's a business, okay? So the more you post, the more you kind of show who you are to YouTube, to Google, to Alphabet, the more likely they're to, um, to promote your content, okay? So I was at, I, I, I always thought to myself, I was like, okay, right? If I was a business owner and I am having people like come to my business, affiliate market, create content for me, who would I want to promote the most? I would want to promote and give the most traffic to the people who are consistent, to the people who are posting every day, who are always having you, um, who are always like pressing play, uploading the video, editing, making a great thumbnail, doing it every day consistently, right? I will show your content to more people because you're consistent with it, right? And then once you're extremely successful, once you have like a million subs, once you have like two million subs, then you can take your foot off a break a bit, right? But for those of you who are kind of coming up through the grind right now, trying to figure everything out, you need to post every day. Um, for me, that every day is just Monday to Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday, I'll have like the AI, um, look at my old clips, turn it into YouTube shorts or like shorter clips and, and I'll post that, right? I don't make content every day, but the days I do make content like Monday to Friday, I will post that every day. 
so that's how i kind of became consistent that's how i started making 250 dollars or 266 to be precise um during that past month of youtube and i think it's gonna go up more because that past month of youtube was what april and the when i'm filming this right now it's, it's like may and the thing is with when when you're when you're filming content youtube has seasons right and the reason they have seasons because i learned this at youtube i learned this at google was that they have seasons where advertisers spend more money advertisers spend the most money during like october november december because it is well maybe november december because it's christmas season uh because it's like the black friday sales because people are buying gifts for their family and advertisers are more likely to put more ads on your video so the way I, the reason i say this is because april most likely is going to be a slow month for us right for, for the channel for the angelo carlos brand for the the empire that we are trying to build <laughs> i know just keep it but um so i think it's gonna go up even more in november december and, and it's super exciting as as long as i stay consistent throughout this process okay so for for me my advice for y'all is that you should build build your channel during january february no march april i know i kind of slipped up there guys <laughs> um and then so that way when the high ad revenue seasons hit in november in december you will have the ability to to make more money through google and youtube adsense okay so take that take my advice there it's like companies will spend more money towards the end of the year especially in the united states because it's a large large um consumer economy where a lot of our spending is focused towards the end of the year for black friday for christmas okay so with that being said i think we're gonna go up a lot more in, in ad revenue um i know it's 266 bucks i'm super proud of that okay i'm like really proud of that because there were days and i i just want you guys to remember like there were days where i would post zero views man and like this is my dream my thumbnail sucked and then you just have all these thoughts in your head you're not good enough it wasn't meant to be i got one view it's probably my mom the comments are like people bullying me and like man this ain't for me i gotta go work <laughs> and but that's all of us that's where we all start so if i, I hope this advice for y'all is that just don't give up right don't give up I've been monetized for about 45 days now, or, or give or take a few days, maybe 50 days now. And we're already at like 300 something dollars, right? I'm very proud to say I made my first dollar online. Like, that's crazy for me. Cause I remember um, just like wanting to make this work. I was like, man, I'm never gonna make this work. I don't believe in myself. We all have these thoughts. And then one day I got monetized, I made, two dollars or something crazy three dollars and i was like oh my god we got three dollars so i was super happy and then the next day i was like we gotta we gotta keep going hard on this content thing because it just it showed me i was like if i set my mind to something i can achieve it it's gonna take a freaking long time but if i never give up i'm gonna get there the only reason you lose the game is if you give up the game of life is ever going if you want to change the world, if you want to build an amazing business, if you want to make content, which I love making content, you got to keep going. And all along the road, Jello fam, I want you to know that there are people who will like hate on you for making money online, telling you you're a scammer, telling you that um, your content sucks, or they'll try and like bully you for the way you look, the way you sound, especially all in the comments. And you'll get like hate messages, all this stuff. That's a part of the journey. It's a part of the journey, right? When you put your your uh, life out there, your 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 um your advice out there to the world, if you want to do anything significant in the world, like you will get people will make fun of you, people will bully you online, people will like say mean things to you, but you just gotta keep going, okay? Because at the end of the day, your dream for yourself, for your family, for the people you love, is more important than some random person's opinion online of you. So don't you ever give up on yourself, Jello fam, because I believe in you guys 100%. Like, 
whatever dream you have, whether you be it be like becoming a YouTuber, becoming a doctor, um, like becoming the best person you can be in this world, I believe in you. And if you watch this content, I hope that I'm a testament of what you can do and what you can become because we're just starting right now. And the whole the true reward in this game of YouTube and this game of life is honestly just the journey. Like you can reach the end goal and you'll get really sad because you free, you realize that, oh man, the journey is done. So I want you guys to really just appreciate this entire journey of becoming a YouTuber, of making money online because that is the true reward in itself, right? And take it from me, like I'm very, very blessed. I like grew up super poor. I grew up like trying to just figure life out. And I had a dream of going to UCLA. I had a dream of getting a job at Google. I made everything come true. And then I realized that as I was kind of going through the process, it was like the true happiness was when I was just grinding out, studying out for exams, trying to get into UCLA. The true happiness was preparing for those Google interviews, those six to seven rounds, and then doing well, getting a full pass, like, like bypassing hiring committee because I did so good on that. And then the true happiness was being at UCLA, learning from the people I was with, not going towards graduation. The, the degree was just gonna be like the icing on the cake, but the experiences I had in between, that was the true happiness at Google too. It was learning from all the smart, amazing people, being around amazing technology, being around super successful people who see the world in a certain way. That was the true happiness. That was the true, the true like uh, beauty within the journey. But so many times, like we kind of like fixate on getting to the end end goal. We fixate on just trying to get to to that final spot. But in reality, the true happiness is through the journey, right? So I hope this video inspires you to to make your YouTube journey. I'm gonna go through everything one more time just, just to make sure I clarify everything with y'all, right? So step one is open a YouTube account, right? You probably watching this right now have a YouTube account, a Google account, right? And you're already finished with that step. Step two is brainstorm. Think about videos you want to post. For me, it was Tesla. I just really liked driving my car. But at first it was like, talking about my health, my fitness, um, talking about business, like finance, right? And then that was kind of like what I was like, just brainstorming at first. Found out the algorithm really liked Tesla. I started posting more Tesla content. So figure out what you like to post and what you would enjoy posting every day, okay? So once you do that, you can start creating content. How do you create content? Go on YouTube, find out what videos are trending, just type in whatever that video is, uh, you're making content about. So say you're talking about Tesla's, type in Tesla Model 3, and then you'll see a couple of like suggested searches and look at those suggested searches and figure out, okay, which one should I make a video about today? Also, YouTube has this new feature on YouTube Studio, which is called the research tab. And in the research tab, it has like a list of all these videos that people are searching for. Look at those videos. If you think one of those videos resonates with you and you can make content behind that, Make content behind that one video because it'll show you what, what people are searching for. And then you'll probably get search volume for that. So like that video, like, all right, cool. I like this video. I want to, I want to make content behind this, right? So do that. Once you do that, you can create content, film it, watch the video, figure out how they're making the video, make content behind it, film it. And then once that's done, you can um, edit the video. The way I edit is I use CapCut, it's free software and doesn't have to be perfect or anything, and then just make the video and edit it through CapCut, right? After you use CapCut, I use Canva, C-A-N-V-A. Canva is what I use to create thumbnails. I don't know how the thumbnail looks, but the biggest like advice I have you for a thumbnail is like, make sure your thumbnail is similar to what you're gonna actually portray in the video, right? So if I take a picture of my Tesla here out in, in this area right here, make sure that as soon as people watch the, click on the video, that they see the Tesla in that specific environment. Because people don't like clicking on stuff and it'd be something completely different. It's called clickbait, pisses people off. What you can do too is if you don't like doing any of this stuff, go on Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. Fiverr is basically a website where you can hire, um, hire people to 
do work for you, right? If you can hire people to do a YouTube video editing, you can hire people to do your thumbnail editing, whatever it may be. If you don't have time for it, if you don't want to do it yourself, go on Fiverr.com. Okay. And then after you do all this, you press play, you post it on your YouTube channel. And then once you post it on your YouTube channel, you need to go to opus.pro, O-P-U-S.pro. Once you do that, you're on opus.pro, you're gonna give the link to your YouTube video onto opus.pro. And then on opus.pro, you're going to turn that video into short clips. What does that mean? Short clips is like 30 to 60 seconds or 30 seconds or less YouTube shorts. And then you can post all those YouTube shorts to your YouTube account. So that way you have more content, right? Cause you're gonna have more content from that long form video that you just filmed for like 20, 20 minutes, eight minutes, whatever it may be. And you post uh, your YouTube shorts and then you're gonna clip that video that you just made that was like that eight to 10 to 20 to 30 minute video length. You're gonna clip that with opus.pro and you're gonna have like seven more clips of that video. So that way people can watch smaller kind of chunk sizes of that video. And then when they really like your content, they'll watch that whole thing, right? It's just AI has made everything much more accessible and scalable now, right? I want you guys to view your YouTube channel as a business, okay? You are a content producer, not a consumer, right? You can consume to just learn, but you are a content producer because you are trying to make money from this platform. It is okay that you're trying to make money. There is nothing wrong with trying to make money because you want to take care of the people you love. You want to take care of your family. You want to have a better life for you, yourself, and the people you love. You are a content producer. When you produce content, you are trying to make money for the platform. That is how all these great TV shows, right? Like all these like big companies like ABC, Fox, CNN, right? That's how they make money. I learned this at UCLA. I have vice presidents of ABC teaching me this stuff, how they make money. They produce great TV shows and then the majority of the revenue comes from the advertising on the commercials. That's how they do it, okay? So your YouTube channel is a business. Your business will not be extremely successful after one month of you posting two videos. Let's be honest does not work like that. Get that through your head because this is what really bothered me. I posted one, two videos and I was like, why am I not a millionaire? Doesn't work like that. Great things take time to build and you are human. That's why you feel sad when people make fun of you on YouTube, when you don't get any views on YouTube, when no one's watching your stuff or you haven't been monetized yet. You are human, it is normal. This is a part of the journey, okay? Just get that through your mind. I love you guys. But this is something I wish someone told me before I started YouTube. I always wanted to be super successful in one day, one week, one month. And even in one month, I'm not successful. I'm like, what's wrong with me? Never the case. You have to be consistent with it, okay? So clip everything into shorts, into clips. Post that on YouTube. Make sure you have a good thumbnail. And then once you reach, I think right, I forgot what it was, but it's like, 5,000, not 5,000 subscribers, it's like 2,000 subscribers or 3,000 subscribers, um, and then like uh, 2,000 watch hours, something like that. But if you go look on the YouTube Studio tab, it shows you what you need to be monetized. And then once you're monetized, you can, you'll can you have to create a Google AdSense account, and then Google will pay you through the AdSense account to um, to to like get ad revenue from, from their platform, which is pretty cool. So. That's how you get monetized YouTube. That's how I'm making $250 a month or right now $266 a month on YouTube. And that was just a month too. I really think it's gonna go up, especially as I produce more content. Oh, this is like the last uh, piece of advice I wanna give you guys before I forget. Like, cause this is actually really, really important. Make sure your video content is like family friendly because YouTube, Google, Alphabet, whatever entity you're referring to, it is a business and businesses, will only advertise on family friendly content. So family friendly content means like you're not doing any crazy out of the blue stuff. So like, I don't swear, I don't curse. I don't do anything that may be seen as like kind of sketchy for YouTube because if they deem that as like a sketchy and not kind of part of their brand, they won't allow, they won't allow you to uh, get ad revenue from 
from their channel, from, from YouTube, from Google. So that's one thing I learned. I always keep everything very family friendly because for me, the, I love posting YouTube. I love helping people. Um, and I understand this is a business and I understand like I don't need to say crazy things to in order to like get my point across like I'm just here to, to help the world to make sure you guys learn from everything I learned from from YouTube from Google from UCLA and just help you guys there so make sure every content every video you post is family friendly and then make sure you don't use um, copyright music copyright footage because another person will claim all your hard work get the money from you and then you kind of like are left like holding the bag we're like what the heck like i made took me two hours 20 a day two three days to make this video and this person is basically getting all my hard work because i used their footage or their music so keep that in mind whenever you're growing your youtube channel whenever you're posting content jello family i hope you guys enjoyed this video of how i make 250 dollars a month on youtube through adsense it's through adsense please like comment and subscribe take out look at my channels angelo carlos talks as well as angelo carlos both of my channels um one's more focused on business and finance which is angelo carlos talks angelo carlos is more so tesla content um so that is how i um kind of make content for you guys also take a look at the affiliate links down below i get a portion of the revenue just everything i use for my camera setup everything I use for my tesla and everything um i get to just help build this channel please like comment and subscribe take a look at my instagram too we're trying to grow that bad boy and my tiktok they're all down below please like comment and subscribe jello family i appreciate you guys so much from the bottom of my heart i hope this video helped you guys because this is what i wish someone made for me when i was starting out on youtube love you jello fam peace